How much Bitcoin do you need to be in the new 1% for total Bitcoin consumption? Let's look at some updated numbers. Also, if someone wanted to send $200 million in Bitcoin last week, how much would that cost to process on the Bitcoin blockchain? Let's discuss. Hey everybody, I'm Gary Palmer Jr. You're you and together we are minting coins, your trusted source for crypto news and interviews. Thank you for showing up. Hit that like button. Really appreciate you to uh, join us, learn about Bitcoin and blockchain technology with us. We get a little technical, but we go over the news. Sometimes we go over the market and uh, really just looking to explore this information with other people and get a conversation going. So uh, in today's episode, we're going to be talking about Bitcoin, looking at the number of addresses, uh, the number of Bitcoin addresses in the world and how much uh, percentage wise those addresses have. And so if you have a Bitcoin, Bitcoin address and you have a little bit of Bitcoin, we're going to take a peek at where you fall in uh, this bell curve, this future bell curve or this runaway curve. And uh, we're going to we're going to see, you know, where um, most people fall, where you fall and how much more you may need to become part of the top 10 percent or even the top 1 percent of Bitcoin address holders out there in the world. Um, so with that being said, let's start by jumping into coin market cap. I want to take a peek at the top 100 cryptocurrencies by market capitalization and top of the chart to you. We have Bitcoin number one position with a total market capitalization of $113 billion. We have uh, not grown a lot in terms of that total market capitalization since last fall. And we're still at that $0.1 trillion. And so is that a reason to sell Bitcoin? $0.1 trillion is not a lot of money. And a ton of money can continue to flow into Bitcoin. It's predicted that a lot of money will come into Bitcoin, especially with the economics, the decreasing in the supply in the near future. We're going to talk about that in a second. Uh, with that being said, even though, you know, Bitcoin is where you probably want to have the majority of your chips, uh, we still think what's happening in the world of Ethereum and uh, other decentralized blockchain technology is very, very interesting. And we think that it's definitely uh, a huge opportunity to pay attention to the teams, pay attention to the technology and not get distracted by the cost, the price of these tokens. Let it be that they're very, very high or very, very low. Uh, we we want to focus on the technology. We want to focus on the teams. And we do want to pay attention to some of the events that are happening in the, in, in the space. And so looking at Bitcoin and looking at this one transaction that happened a couple days ago uh, on September 13th, around 9.50 in the morning, uh, we had a, a transaction happen. And look at this. This transaction, let me zoom in a little bit, is 30,000 Bitcoin, not $30,000. Total input, over 30,000 Bitcoin, approximately $193 million dollars was sent and processed for uh, a very small amount of money. About, uh, I guess we'll say about 3,000 Satoshis, otherwise known as 19 cents by uh, current values. And so this is a huge amount of money being sent over the Bitcoin blockchain, transferred from one address to another address. And this is really showing the power and the potential of Bitcoin to be fast, to be immutable, to be affordable. And this is just a small sign of what's to come. I can't possibly imagine having 30,000 Bitcoin at my disposal. Uh, $200 million is just an obscene amount of money. Um, and when we see that amount of money going through the Bitcoin blockchain, it really makes you think about all the money, all the crypto that's out there and all of these exchanges. And if and when people want to get their money from their exchanges, you know, their Bitcoin specifically from the exchanges and pull that Bitcoin out into a decentralized Bitcoin wallet, if everybody wanted to pull out, you know, cash out into Bitcoin and pull all that Bitcoin out on the same day, uh, that would be a very bad situation for these exchanges and it could result into a situation where some people have a hard time getting the Bitcoin if if not at all 
uh, at least at some point in the future, a, a delayed period of time, which could cause a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress. And so let that be uh, a forewarning to not keep uh, much of your Bitcoin or any of your Bitcoin on the exchanges unless you're doing active trading. Uh, but those are the risks that are involved. So uh, let's jump over to the top 100 richest addresses, uh, the, top, uh, 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 the top Bitcoin addresses that have at least one millibit in them. And so right here, we are looking at the Bitcoin distribution of uh, all of these addresses out there. So across the Bitcoin blockchain, um, you may have some Bitcoin, you may have some Bitcoin across more than one address. And so this isn't the, the total number of users in Bitcoin. These are the total number of addresses in Bitcoin. And so if you have between one millibit, which is 0 0.001 BTC, between uh, 0 and 0 0.001 BTC, then there are this many addresses out there, uh, several of them, a, a couple million of them, about 49% of them, which total about 2,270 Bitcoin, and uh, they they have, you know, so there's over two million addresses that only have this much amount of Bitcoin in them. And if we jump up that chain, if you have at least 0.1, if your address has at least 0.1 between 0.1 and one whole Bitcoin, then you would fall into this category. And so in this category, we have, oh, this must have been 10 million. I miscounted up there. So that's 11 million addresses. So in this category, we have about 1.7 million addresses. And uh, the number of addresses out there in all of Bitcoin blockchain that have between 0.1 and 1 Bitcoin is 7.85. And so if you have this much Bitcoin, then you fall into the top 8%, you know, between the top 8 and 18% and, uh, of all Bitcoin users out there. And to get in the top 1%, you would really need to be between, you know, 1 and 10 plus Bitcoin to be in that new 1%. Uh, if you have at least one Bitcoin, though, then you're falling into this category with this other uh, 580,000 addresses, keeping in mind that a lot of these people that, that, that it might be the same person and they have their Bitcoin in two different addresses and they might have one Bitcoin in each address so that one person would account for two of these. Right. And so if you have just one address with one Bitcoin in it, then you would be one person out of this 580,071 people making up uh, two point. 61% of all Bitcoin addresses, which, you know, really puts you uh, at the cream of the crop, the top of the top of the number of, uh, you know, early adopters of Bitcoin holders out there. You know, with that being said, if you're down here and you have, you know, just a millibit of Bitcoin, you still have more Bitcoin than the majority of people in the whole world. But if we go to the, the, the super top, the creme de la creme, uh, someone that has between 100,000 and 1 million Bitcoin, there's approximately three of those addresses out there that have that much Bitcoin. And then we, we, we saw earlier over here, uh, there was this person that transferred this 30,000 Bitcoin. And so if they have 30,000 Bitcoin in that one address, that falls in this category right here. Be, between There's 121 addresses out there. Before they made that transaction, it was 120. And after they made that transaction, it was 121 addresses out there that have between 10 and 100,000 Bitcoin and they don't even register and the number of people out there that have Bitcoin is practically 0% have over 10,000 Bitcoin available. Uh, then you have people that have between 1,000 and 10,000 Bitcoin, about 1,500 of those folk make up 0.01%. Uh, it's a very, 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 very small percentage of the people that have that much Bitcoin and it's just amazing to think that the majority of Bitcoin, the vast majority of Bitcoin out there has been mined, that it has been, um, you know, uh, created and distributed out there to different addresses in the world. Out of 21 million Bitcoin, we already have 17 and a quarter of that Bitcoin generated. So we have less than 4 million Bitcoin left out of the total 21 million Bitcoin that's going to be distributed. And, you know, as we get our supply cut every four years, so there's less and less Bitcoin available. And as the demand increases, because there's more and more development of this technology, there's more and more development of the uh, data layers and the application layers. And soon they're going to have really awesome user interface layers of this open source blockchain technology, which is going to drive the demand of, of, uh, of these tokens and these, these crypto token assets. 
Uh, there's also just the overall number of people in the world, the number of uh, investment opportunities that Wall Street is looking to. And Wall Street is looking into Bitcoin. Wall Street is looking into crypto. Uh, governments and banks and companies around the world are looking into holding Bitcoin as uh, a cash reserve, as a crypto cash reserve to hedge against, you know, uh, possible downsides of fiat currency. And so if we... Uh, think about you know what's happened in the past and what's happened in the future and we think about the total amount of bitcoin uh in the world and what one bitcoin used to get you or in the case of what we're looking at right now what one us dollar used to get you in terms of bitcoin one us dollar used to buy uh 333 bitcoin in 2010 and then one dollar bought one bitcoin in 2011 and then, you know, very slowly, this has gotten uh, to become a worse and worse deal. So now one dollar can only get you one tenth of one millibit. And so we see the value of Bitcoin increasing year after year after year. And we know that this value in Bitcoin is directly associated with the, uh, the halving that's happening. And so if we jump over here to look at this chart, we can see that the Bitcoin price history with the reward having marked in days. And so here we had the first Bitcoin having, the, the second Bitcoin having, and now we're on uh, the precipice of the third Bitcoin having. And according to this data, which is going to be linked in the show notes below, uh, by the time this having happens, the price of Bitcoin is going to be expected to be between $50,000 and $100,000, with uh, the price going up even further uh, with great potential, you know, uh, to, to become a million, even $10 million of Bitcoin. So when we're talking about uh, someone moving 30,000 Bitcoin and when we're looking at the price of Bitcoin, uh, you know, just jump up exponentially year after year. Uh, we've seen stories of the news in the past where the total crypto market cap jumping $12 billion in one hour. It's just an obscene amount of money uh, going into the market versus a very small total uh, market capitalization, a, a very small total existing supply of the tokens that are available. And what we are predicting is that very, very quickly, we're going to see a shift of money going into Bitcoin. We're going to see more than $12 billion in one hour enter Bitcoin, more than $12 billion in, in one hour enter all of cryptocurrency. It's going to have huge effects on the market. And just like last year when we went about, you know, from $7,000 to $20,000 over the course of just a couple months, uh, we think that that's very, very possible that history is going to repeat itself. We actually feel, in our opinion, that it's uh, pretty much a certainty. Uh, now, we don't know when it's going to happen, but, you know, with what we understand about the, the economics of Bitcoin and the supply of Bitcoin and the demand of Bitcoin, if you wanted to uh, have part of this token now knowing that um, it, it, the extreme limitation in the supply is happening, uh, this is your opportunity. And so you might already know this, you might already be aware of this, but you got to remember that even though you might be highly involved in the cryptocurrency game, there's so many other people who aren't involved. You know, if we go back and we look at the total number of uh, 100 richest Bitcoin addresses out there, there there's only, you know, uh, 10, uh, 20, you know, 25,000 addresses out here that uh, that, that have substantial amounts of Bitcoin in them. So 25,000 addresses globally, when there's 7.2, you know, between 7.2 and 7.5 billion people in the world, there's 350 million people in America. Yeah, there's, there's only 25 million of these, you know, real Bitcoin blockchain addresses out there. And so there's so many more people to learn about there. So there's so many more people to, um, to, to learn about Bitcoin, let alone to get their own Bitcoin wallets, to figure out how they can get a little bit of Bitcoin. They're going to need to go to you to get that information. And you would have already had your position started, you know, back in 2018 or 2017 or whenever it was that you got involved into Bitcoin. And so this is going to become a more real, more solid, more tangible part of our lives. And we believe that Bitcoin is going to become more real and more tangible than the physical dollars in your pocket. 
So with that being said, let me know what do you think about all of this? What do you think about the top 100 Bitcoin addresses? What do you think about your chances of being a part of the top 1% or the top 10% of Bitcoin address holders out there? And uh, what do you think about the potential of the Bitcoin market, the cryptocurrency market overall, jumping, you know, 20 billion, uh, 30 billion, maybe even $50 billion in over the, the course of a couple hours or a couple days. Do you think that's even possible? And what do you think, you know, would, it would happen? It would, it would just be crazy. It would be more news, more press, more chaos than uh, what we saw in December. And when that happens, um, it, it's going to be a very interesting time. So stay tuned for that. Until next time, tap that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, and leave your comments in the show notes below. Until next time, I'm glad that together we are minting coins.